I spent three months reporting on the situation for refugees from across the world trying to reach Australia by boat, who are intercepted by the Australian government and sent to detention camps offshore. I tried to apply for a visa to get to Nauru. It's $8,000 non-refundable. Many journalists have paid that money and never actually been. I was never able to actually apply. I was told there was an accommodation shortage on the island. It was so frustrating to have no real genuine reason as to why I couldn't actually get into one of these camps. I sent interview requests to four former Prime Ministers, a former Immigration Minister, they all declined. The current Prime Minister of Australia declined to be interviewed. I sent eight interview requests to the current Immigration Minister. He never actually responded to my final request. These are the people that have put in policies that send people offshore and yet they're not willing to front up to the media and actually answer questions. I got in touch with a refugee living on Manus Island in Papua New Guinea via WhatsApp. His name is Beruz Buhani. He's an Iranian journalist who fled and ended up on Manus. He sends out photos showing the really, really grim living conditions. People writing messages on the walls of the camp in their own blood. He's sending out updates about day-to-day -day incidents, about his feelings of spending three years in detention. Reading that is just incredibly heartbreaking because I have no sense of how you could spend that long in this one camp. I spoke to Martin Appleby. He was a former security worker who actually worked in the Manus Island camp. Hearing his voice crack, hearing him struggle to put into words, the things that he'd seen affected me so much. I was brought to tears. Hours before publishing, the news broke that the Manus Island camp would be shut down. I immediately sent off a message to Beruz and he said it was wonderful news. But then the statement came out from the Australian government and it became clear that these people would never be settled in Australia. So their future is still incredibly uncertain.